Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. My name is Hao Randi. My name is Mian Liao. And I am Shu Kai Wang. And we are from Power Lab in Princeton University. In this video, we are going to demonstrate our recent work on machine learning method and open source database for magnetic color modeling. As we all know, magnetic components such as inductors and transformers are widely used in power electronic systems from solar inverters to modern GPU accelerators. In fact, you can find magnetic components almost everywhere. However, magnetic components are typically the largest components in a power electronic system and are usually afflicted by significant power loss, which makes them especially critical for system optimization. Modeling the core loss of a magnetic component is extremely challenging. Magnetic core loss is determined and affected by various factors and multiple nonlinearities. In the past decades, researchers have built a considerable number of models for magnetic core loss, each of them with their own set of limitations. In recent years, machine learning techniques, especially neural network methods, have proven to be extremely effective in solving nonlinear multivariable problems and have seen success in power electronic design applications. This inspired us to explore potential opportunities to build a machine learning based model for color loss modeling. It goes without saying, though, that a high quality, large scale database is the foundation for machine learning. Just like how the ImageNet really promoted the progress of computer vision research, we anticipate the building of an open source magnetic color loss database for our research community to enable and facilitate more data driven magnetic research. Firstly, to collect the data and build the database, we design an automatic color loss data acquisition system. With the control of the host computer, the hardware will generate and apply the desired excitation to the device on the test. And the oscilloscope will measure and collect the voltage and current signals that we need. An oil bath with a heater is also implemented for the temperature control. A call loss data point is generated and recorded every two seconds. And with this fully automated system, all we need is just a click of a button and thousands of data points will be acquired in a few hours across a wide range of flux density and frequency. So far, we have collected over 60,000 color loss data points for five commonly used magnetic materials with multiple types of waveforms. The database of each material contains the geometry information of the core sample, the measured signal, and this calculated property. Secondly, with a large amount of data, we are able to build and train a machine learning based color loss model. The simplest model structure is this feedforward new network which can be considered as a new network version of the Steinmetz equation. It takes the frequency, flux density, and due to ratios as the inputs, and then after calculations in the hidden layers, it gives out the predicted value of the colors. The number of hidden neurons determines how many parameters are contained in the neural network, which is directly related to the prediction accuracy. To benchmark, we first calculate the colors with the IGSE, and due to the nature of the IGSE method, Prediction accuracy highly depends on how the IGSC parameters were found. Using a small neural network, a comparable prediction accuracy is achieved, but as we further increase the size of the network, the accuracy greatly improves, and the neural network outperforms the IGSC, achieving a much closer match with the measurements. Thirdly, in order to enable fast and convenient access to our database and models, we have created a web page based visualization platform. You can browse and visualize all the measured color data, select the material and type of excitation that you are interested in. By narrowing down the frequency range, you can get the color versus flux density curve for a variety of different waveform properties. By narrowing down the flux density range, you can get the color versus frequency curve. And you can also select a second material to make a quick comparison. You can also calculate and predict the color under given conditions. Input the specified frequency, flux density, and other waveform properties, and choose the desired algorithm, either the IGSC or the new network, and the call loss will be instantly calculated in the back end server and show up. We are currently collaborating with Dartmouth College, where the researchers will develop and deploy more advanced analytical models. And we are also in collaboration with Plexing to implement a direct interaction between the machine learning model and the Plex simulation engine. With the constantly expanding scale of the database, higher data quality, and the increasing waveform diversity, we anticipate the MapNet will offer more and more opportunities to researchers in power magnetic field, the power electronic community, and beyond. Welcome to join us!